Finite goals are for sustenance of life. I told you the… in the very introductory talks, But only you want things in life, education, wealth, money, all these things you should have. For what? Comfort. Just for our sustenance, but for happiness, these things will not contribute. Therefore, find our happiness in ourselves, then comfort level. Why is it today, there is, why there is a fight? Why is somebody, even if you look at it, why somebody is a terrorist? Why somebody is a Naxalite, communist? Why is it because the person feels deprived? The person who are educated and have everything will not consciously share it unless they are forced. Suppose you consciously share with everything, when the whole world poverty will go away, as they say. There are ten, you one nuclear submarine costs 300 to 400 million dollars. A nuclear submarine. Such efficient instruments we have discovered to kill each other. Stealthy bombers, 200, 300 million dollars. Imagine. Which can feed a whole country, a continent. Just think. But a person who has made it, rich or educated, they must know one time they were not rich, they were not educated. No, I am born to my father who was rich. Your father must have started with poverty, because everybody starts with nothing. In one generation, maybe my father was poor, but I am rich. My child will be richer, maybe. Another generation, somebody who is very poor now, he starts, his next generation. But everybody moving towards it. You forget that one time you are poor, you are uneducated, your education, your riches brought you where you are now. If you did it to me, it doesn't need a huge scientist or a intellectual to appreciate that I should educate other people. <laughs> Help in education. Instead of helping people in education not to make them thief, no, I should have my house wired by the electronic stuff, gadgets. Hundreds of thousands of dollars to put myself secured so that I live in a fortress. Educate these fellows, you will not require this. There was a nice story in London. In England, the, you know, motorways, people are traveling, traveling, traveling. Then what happens? Suddenly, one man was going in a nice Jaguar car and his windshield gets hit by a stone. And the windshield gets hit by a stone Naturally, he gets down because of his car, you know, he, he can't stand, he immediately gets down from the car. And then having, when he gets down from the car, and then he see there is one boy crying. And he is the one who has thrown the stone, eh? So he goes there, he says, I mean, you get wild because your Jaguar car and hits by a stone, the whole windshield goes. She goes and, she, you know, shakes him up. He says, what is a boy you are? How can I do that? The boy is already in tears and looking another direction. He saw him. There is a tricycle and the another youngster on that, on inside, under the road, in, in a very precarious position, falling. Now can he beat that boy? He ran down there along with the boy and both of them struggled to bring it out and they brought him up. Ha! <sighs> got it down. Then, now the man said, oh, oh, this boy must have been disturbed, then he asked him, son, okay, I understand that boy is in there, you need help. Then why don't you just call? Why are you throwing a stone? He said, I have been doing it for the last half an hour. Nobody will stop. But when you are hit, you stop. Like your medical checkup. How many people go to medical checkup for prevention? Until you are hit, you don't go. Heart attack, cancer, there must be something in the body, then the people will go. Not many people go just like that for a checkup. Understand? The person when 
steal some hundred thousand rupees from your house, then you say, if you would have asked me, I would have given you. I see. That you say only when you are stolen. When they ask, you will never give. This is what generation, rich, educated, yeah. Absolutely selfish. So, the poor person feels he is deprived. That's the wrong logic. Because of the rich man, poor is not poor. <laughs> because he became rich, poor suddenly recognizes his poverty. Sometimes they are also exploited because you engage them and don't give them the due. Think. So many ways you can look at it. Think, friends. But if everybody who is rich and educated starts sharing with the poor, what is the poverty? Therefore, what is the crime? And that is the reason why, single reason why, no religion should be involved in giving education and, what is that, uh, uh, health care and life sustenance things. To propagate their religion. Because poverty, hunger, disease, very soft target. Every human being, irrespective of caste, creed, sex, race, race nationality, must be provided with food. Sustenance is a basic right, not a religious right. Hunger, disease, basic human right. You don't have to be a religious person to get it. You must be a person to get it. But the moment religions jump on this bandwagon to help people in the name of service, you want to bring them away. Why? So that if number is increased in a democracy, Politically, you shall be more powerful. And once religion gets involved in politics, religion is politicized. It will have nothing to help anymore. That is why even all the world, there should be no national religion. No country should protect a religion. This is the one, this is a national religion. Then what about other people? Your citizens will be provided, you know, deprived because they don't follow, everybody doesn't have to follow that religion. And if you want everybody to follow that religion, then make it open. That religion should say, every God is God, every name is wonderful, everything is beautiful, everything is fine. If you worship is okay, if you don't worship is okay. If you do this, fine. If you don't do this, fine. God is a man, God is a woman, okay. No God, also okay. Then have that type of religion. Are you getting that? That everybody can find the identity. Ishwara, think, friends. Because it's, a, it's very important. Time has come with so much of prosperity, so much of explosion of knowledge, scientific discovery, technological advancement. We still cannot die like animals on the road. Just imagine. Today it is somebody, tomorrow it can be us, you know. 